this is IBM Museum. I'm literally going through and dusting off stuff in the studio, getting prepared to make videos once again. Great news, huh? Now this opening video, as I go through and restart my channel, it's going to be another unboxing, just like I've done many times before. This will be great news to you, IBM PS2, Model 25, and Model 30 owners out there, as well as the systems that were derived from those units, the Model 2526 and Model 3026, and systems like I have behind me, the executive workstation and the personal typing system based on those Model 30 planers. I'll be going through and installing this on that executive workstation behind me in a later video, so stay tuned. Let's get turned around and show off what this board is. So this is all the way from Germany, and I've gone through and I've masked out the addresses. And there have been videos that have been done on this board that really probably didn't get the exposure, didn't get seen by too many people. But, um, and I'm not trying to ruin the, any of the unboxing experience for anybody, but I've already gone through and I've opened this package just to view the contents and take some pictures. So here is the board that's inside. It is labeled. Nice anti-static packaging. Probably took about a week to get here from Germany. But it's labeled as the PS2 XT SD. And for those familiar with kind of some naming conventions of these retrofitted boards and everything, it just shows what's, what it's going on. The PS2 XT. And then the 2 typically means what it interfaces to. And in this case, it's an SD as in a memory board. Now it's actually a, a micro SD um, board that's, and it actually the example is included in here. I'm told that this is ready to go. So I'll go through and I'll untape this when I go through and install it and put it in the slot. But just giving a, a good view of the board, I may have to work with this a little bit for the, the just one factor that's been discovered. There's the back of the board. And I do have the example, just like I have the executive workstation here. Um, in fact, I think I, I went through when I replaced the planer of the executive workstation to get this working, given, being given this unit from uh, Computer Reset. I went through and I swapped out the planer, had to swap out the planer. And I even think that this might be the planer that I took out of the unit. And this is a MOL 30 planer and riser, just to kind of demonstrate as I'll go through and have that installed. This is what the executive workstation has inside of it. And here is a hard drive interface cable from the MOL 30. Of course, the Zeku workstation did not come with any sort of hard drive on it. So we'll be going through and using this, this cable um, plugged into the hard drive interface. And that makes it so we don't have to use any expansion boards or anything like that. In the case of the Zeku workstation, it only has the lower two slots that are available. Just do the size of the, of the case. Um, the riser is actually the same inside the executive workstation, just that that is so high that there's not really any room to put anything in that slot. It doesn't have any back panel for it or anything like that as well. So this will go through and plug into the cable, just like this. And um, of course, like I said, I'll go through and I'll remove that micro SD card. And I think people will be amazed to see what this, what this card does and just the ability to add solid state, a solid state memory device used as a hard drive to a unit like the Model 25 and Model 30 
using that proprietary interface. This is going to be a, just a wonderful thing. So we'll get to looking at installing it on the executive workstation in a later video. But I hope that you've gone through and enjoyed the news as I go through and get my channel restarted and know what's coming up. So this is IBM Museum. That's all I have for now. Thank you.